Hello, Synth. Good morning. This is the uh, sister, brother, whatever video to um, video that I made for Blue. I sent you guys an email about this. Um, but basically, um, ditching Alloy because um, the later versions of Unity are able are, are kind of eating the packed maps um, and creating those packed maps was slow and um, I'm able to replicate the look that we were getting from Alloy um, pretty much just as efficiently, maybe even slightly more efficiently because I'm using only a subset of the functionality and just what we need. And um, uh, Blue is able to export the packed maps directly from Substance Painter, which will save you two plus minutes per texture set per model. Two minutes is at the bare minimum. It could be as much as five minutes. So um, things just got much easier. Now you'll notice I'm staring at a pink model here. This is a Rorqual Rorqual Hagira thing um, that uh, was previously done with Alloy. Now there's two sets of stuff here. Uh, one is um, for anything that was pre-existing done in Alloy that has a packed map already, um, which um, Alloy PM, we've got these Alloy PM things around. I'm gonna delete all of those because the, the asset ones, Alloy PM dot asset, because those are the things that can eat our Alloy PM dot PNGs. Those are fine. So, um, okay. Now, um, the reason this is pink is because it can't find the shader because I got rid of the shader. Um, do it like this. So, depending on if you are using, um, uh, Sandra Arkin alloy, can't see it on this, uh, recording, unfortunately, at the moment. Uh, depending on if you're using, um, emissive or not, it's, core replacement emissive or core replacement under Arcan Alloy. These, I believe, both have emissive textures. Um, <clears throat> um, and then the tanks, Arcan Alloy replacement emissive. Um, whoop. All right, so that's got a clear, I mean, a definite, emissive map here. Does the body not have much of a, it does have an emissive map. Oh, okay, it's just, it's showing up as black because it's so, um, um, now for some of these, the actual emission, uh, Hmm. Let me pause this for one second. I gotta make a shader fix. All right, unpause. Uh, the um, so I had mistakenly not set these uh, colors to be HDR ones, uh, which you know we want them to be uh, in order to get the brightness and stuff. Get to drag here uh, in order to get above one. And then uh, you, know, you can click in this area to get um, the exact colors that you want. Now this is for setting up um, uh, if you've already got shaders that are um, alloy based, um, or you know originally that were alloy based. Um, then this just saves us time because why have Blue or myself or whoever um, re-export those? Why have uh, you or me repack those? Let's just reuse the existing packs. I know how to get I know how to get the data out of there, so that's easy enough. Boom, boom, boom. We're done with those. Um, and there are a couple of others I think that. Um, yeah, there's like the um, uh, let's 
special forces guard post, which I showed doing a while ago. Um, and that one was, I think this asteroid base is probably not emissive. So just do core replacement instead of core replacement emissive. Yep. And then the this one, the actual like uh, body of it is emissive. Um, yep. So, um, so there we are. All that stuff is what it was already visually and um but now it's using my shaders instead of alloy now i'm going to take the Rorqual agira thing here as another example though um let's assume let's pretend that um we didn't actually have a um uh packed map already this is a new thing that blue is uh, sending over. So in that case, um, we are getting oh, God. In that case, we're getting these from blue, which uh, would look familiar from the past video. Um, I'm going to pause real quick. Okay, so unpausing. Um, basically, what I wanted to do, uh, just to save um, cop, uh, space in SVN and so on, is I just made a went on and checked in the other stuff because I don't actually have a reason to switch over these things permanently to the Rorqual, uh to the new format, the Rorqual Hygira stuff. So I'm just going to do this as an example. So let's suppose that. This was previously on like the standard shader. Eee. Um and so now um when we come in, you know, or whatever shader, standard or one of my other past ones, but blue was sent over some new textures. Hooray, let's start using those. Um, these have existing packed maps, so there's not going to be all that stuff going up into tools and baking and none of that stuff anymore. Um, this is the complete tutorial right here on how to uh, set up a new texture based on stuff Blue sends over. She's going to send over stuff that looks exactly like this. Diffuse, met rough, metallic roughness and occlusion all in one packed map right there. Normal, already uh, set up. And then the emissive map, maybe. Um, so uh, in both of these cases, we have an emissive map. So we select the emissive uh, version of my texture, my shader. Um, and so it's under Arkin. And then we have Arkin combined. And then there's Arkin combined emissive, which I didn't copy over. One second, please. OK, getting this straightened out, sorry. So we have Arkin combined emissive as well and Arkin combined. If you have an emissive texture, you're going to want to use the emissive one. If you don't, then, then don't use it. It's obviously going to flip out until you put in the emissive map because the emissive map says, where does this emit from? Otherwise, it emits from everywhere. So we'll go ahead and drag on body three emission right there. Boom, it's no longer emitting from everywhere. Notice how flat that looks. I mean, for one thing, there's no normal map. For another thing, uh, it does not have its metallic or roughness or occlusion. Uh, not a normal map. Fix now, and now it is a normal map. Uh, we drag in the metallic roughness occlusion here, and suddenly, boom, it looks like we expect. Um, if there was problem with just how metallic or whatever it looks, then um, we can adjust the metalness or the roughness um, to make it, you know, more uh, or less what we want. Um, and there may be some cases where we wind up wanting to do that. Uh, I can adjust the occlusion as well. Um, but um, yeah, and then for the uh, for the tanks, same deal. Um, 
Arcan, Arcan combined emissive, Dragon, the normal. Oh, we're not going to be able to see that because it's emitting like crazy right now. Uh, Dragon, the emission, Dragon, the metalness, and all that jazz. And, um, you know, we can actually play with this some um, to get more or less of an effect. Well, not really. Apparently, um, I'm just kind of all very middle of the road on that, actually. So anyway, um, this gives, again, an equivalent result to what we were seeing with the um, other uh, shader, the one that's based on the, the packed maps way to generate uh, manually. But now there's the packed maps that Blue's generating instead. And we have all the sliders we could ask for that let us tune things if we have to. Um, if something's just like crazy too shiny or something, you can adjust the roughness up or you can take the metalness down or whatever. Like if it's getting a really, you know, sharp, um, I think it was the it's the body here uh, instead of the tanks. You know, if the if we're getting just a really um, crazy specular highlight on there, and this like looks practically wet, which is kind of good for a whale, honestly. But still, uh, we can adjust you know the roughness and the metalness a little bit to make it more or less uh, there. You know different parts of this are more metal or not this is a multiplier and so the more you multiply it or the less you multiply it the more extreme the different parts can become and um you know you could also make it completely smooth so that it's like insanely wet looking um it's actually kind of neat come to think of it for this whale like um Maybe I will leave this after all. Um, as, as you can see, there's quite a bit of flexibility. I actually put a bigger uh, range on mine that gives a little more flexibility than the other one had. So um, you can actually get more results from um, mine than you could from Alloy just because I'm letting it go beyond what is technically physically based. Um, whereas they were focused on physically based stuff. Man, that just looks really wet. That's pretty cool for a whale inspired um, arc. So I guess uh, I guess maybe we'll keep that after all. And you know, I can adjust the brightness on this a little bit if I wanted to. Um, or take it down a little. Anyway, um, give the normal maps up a little bit. We're down a little. Uh, take them down a little bit. And we have this really smooth looking. That's cool. That's just cool. Here, so we're not overglowing. Um, I like that. I have to say I like that quite a bit. Um, all right, well, all right, fine. New version. I'm going to keep those and get rid of the old alloy version. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Uh, this tutorial went on longer just because I'm um, playing around with it. But, um, hmm. These tanks were using the, oh, they were still using the old diffuse. That's what it was. And I'm betting this was too. Uh, yep. Okay. There we go. Now it's actually using fully the new stuff. Anyway, uh, no packing, no deleting, no doing all the various stuff. If you need to Atlas, obviously that's fine. 
all the things you would normally do for you know combining meshes and materials all that will work just fine but that stuff from a video from a month or so ago uh that talked about like doing alloy packing and all that none of that has to happen and that will save you a ton of time so uh thanks for watching